legendary product from Estee Lauder Double Wear is released in a cushion compact. Hey everyone, my name is Leah Yu. Hope you guys are doing well. For today's video, I just went out and bought this guy. It is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Cushion Baby Compact. I was really, really intrigued to try this. I couldn't seem to find any information internationally, especially Estee Lauder US website. So let me know if this is available in your country down below in the comment box. In Korea, it was just released two, three days ago. Also, this is a different product from the Estee Lauder Double Wear To Go, which was a squeezable liquid compact foundation that was released a year ago, I think. This guy retails for 65,001 in Korea, which is approximately around 65 US dollars. So it is not a cheap product, but yet again, it is Estee Lauder. So, so for the $65 that you pay, you only get one cushion compact, but they were doing like a new re product release promotion thing. So they were giving out free refill pack for um, free, but I think this is going on for only a limited time. And they also mentioned that the refill package is not available to purchase right now so they do only sell this cushion compact. According to the Stay Lauder Korea website, this does claim to have one of the best covers out there in terms of the cushion foundation. It almost has the same coverage as double wear um, liquid foundation. Also, it is very hydrating and smooth. It keeps you hydrated all day long. Um, it does contain SPF 50 with PA triple plus and it is made with oil-free formula. Packaging wise, it's a little bit disappointing, I guess, because it's just like a plain um, you know plastic doesn't really have any design in it just says the Lauder logo on top it's very lightweight though but I do feel like Sarasu and Hera does better job in terms of designing the package the weird thing that I first noticed was that the holes like the holes in the sponge are much larger than other foundations other cushion foundations that I experienced so far I don't know if that really makes a difference in terms of the foundation performance but that's something that I noticed right away. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started on applying this cushion foundation. First of all, the color is sand and it is like the perfect match for my skin tone, I would say. Now the sand color I'm using really leans towards on a yellowy undertone side. It does have a little bit of dewy finish than I expected. As I blend in, it does seem to kind of stick to the skin really, really well. Not in a way that I'm kind of like layering a foundation on top of my skin, but it really really sticks to my skin as it's supposed to. It doesn't feel like I'm applying another layer of product on top of my skin. It does feel very natural. It just sticks to my skin and all it almost looks like my natural skin, doesn't it? I feel like it. I feel like the more you dab it, the more natural it gets because at first it kind of moves around with all the products but then once you pat it in and once you really work in the foundation, it really looks natural like your own skin. I do have some problematic spots on my jawline right now, so let's see how that covers up. You know, like Double Wear Like Your Foundation is beloved by a lot of acne prone skin users. It does an amazing job on covering up all the rednesses, all the acnes, and all major spots and imperfections that you have with a very matte finish. So I don't know why Estee Lauder decided to name this cushion as Double Wear because I don't find anything really similar to the liquid foundation. This provides a very natural finish and it kind of leaves a very dewy finish as well as I tilt my head around it does reflect the light a lot <laughs> in order to conceal all the acne scars I would need a concealer and also I do feel like I need to cover up my dark circles um, even though I layered a few layers on here I don't feel like it really builds up in terms of the coverage. The major downside of this product is something that I really didn't expect from this um, cushion compact. So the reason why we apply foundation is that we want our skin to look better than its original state. But this foundation seemed to 
enhance the original state of your skin. It really means that your skin texture still peeks through the foundation. So if your concern is pore problems, I do feel like this isn't the best foundation that you might be looking for. It will accentuate the look of your pores. It doesn't mean that it's clogging around the pores. It doesn't mean that it's kind of accentuating the pores, but it doesn't really do anything regarding your skin texture. I'm back with my makeup on and I didn't do any powders. I only did concealer. It's 10 a.m. now. I will be tuning in later to update you guys with the foundation. It's 4.30 now. It's been like six hours from the application. Um, I gotta say, so far the makeup is holding up pretty good, pretty well. Um, I don't see any budging, smudging, or any meltdowns. It didn't really darken in terms of the color, so I don't feel like it really oxidized at all. At all. And it didn't really clog into my fine lines or either my nose bridge at all. I mean, regarding the fact that I didn't use any setting powders or anything to set my makeup or my foundation, it is pretty impressive because I normally do touch up my makeup around 2 p.m. after lunchtime. Like, I definitely need to block oils and stuff. But other than my forehead, it does kind of look natural. Now I feel like I'm liking this cushion foundation more than I actually initially stated. So we'll see how it goes. I hope this makeup lasts after hitting the gym because I'm going to the gym shortly. Um, I'll keep you guys posted. Hey guys, so I just came back from the gym. What time is it? It's 11.05, so that means it's been 13, 13 hours of application. So far, the longevity is a bomb. As soon as I got to the gym, I instantly sweated. Like, I went to the gym for two hours and I sweated the entire two hours. I'm a very sweaty person. That was gross. But considering that I went to the gym, it is still looking at least a little presentable, I guess. So let's do a close-up. From this point, my microphone decided to die, but basically I said it didn't make me look like a shiny disco ball at all, and there wasn't any separation going on, but I do feel like since my jawline was particularly dry, it went a bit patchy when it was mixed with my sweat, but honestly, compared to other foundations combined with two hours of sweat, this foundation was amazing for its longevity. So for my final verdict, I do think that the name itself kind of set a lot of people's expectation really high because I know there's a lot of massive fans of double wear foundation and I think Estee Lauder is imposing all of you to purchase this little cushion compact just thinking it will be the same product in a different type of packaging. Do note that it is a completely different product from the double wear look at foundation. So I've been using this foundation for another four days um, since I filmed the first impression part. I do feel like the more I use it and the more dirtier it, this gets, I feel like it leaves more matte finish of my skin so I don't experience the dewiness or the moisturizing part anymore but it still leaves a beautiful you know healthy glow and a very natural finish I'm wearing it today yet again this is made with oil-free formula so it can be drying on some sort of skin types I kind of experience some dryness around my jawline so do moisturize before you apply this foundation also I found that this didn't cause any breakouts on my skin which is always a plus so thank you so much Estee Lauder the best strengths about this foundation has to be the application and also the longevity. It instantly sticks to your skin like your skin itself and it's really really lightweight, it blends really seamlessly and it just gives you one of the most natural finish that you will get from a foundation. Also longevity, you've seen it, it's amazing, it's one of the most long wearing cushion foundation I've ever experienced so far. The downside of this product is that it doesn't provide any correcting or smoothing property on uneven skin texture. So if you do have a lot of pore problems, if you're concerning about your uneven skin texture, this is not the foundation you might want to go for or either layer a smoothing primer beneath this foundation. So this may be not the best foundation out there if you are a major fan of double wear liquid foundation for its pigmentation and also the coverage and also the matte finish but this cushion foundation is great for everyday day-to-day -day basis fuss free very natural foundation and I do also feel like this is a great touch-up foundation that you can carry around everywhere so that is it for today's Estee Lauder double wear cushion foundation review let me know in the comment box if you have tried this foundation yet and also let me know your thoughts on them don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and I'll see you guys next time bye